Hi folks, and welcome to the ultra defensive video. Been a little bit apprehensive to put this one out for the 4231 because I don't use it a lot. I, I only switch to it for like the last couple of minutes. If you get to like the 87th, 89th minute, um, you're one nil up and you just don't want to risk it. Um, this is the team. Uh, I've changed to Lamptey at left back. I'm just trying him out. He's right footed, but he's five star weak foot. He just gave full chem to Van Dijk and Walker. Um, Mbappe still on two. There will be changes to the team, but there's no point making big changes at this point. So close to team of the year. Uh, so if we go into custom tactics and then into ultra defensive, you can see here, I've just set up to make this quicker. Uh, balanced defensive style. We're not constant pressure yet. We don't need a goal. We don't go constant pressure. We're not using drop back because that's ratty and horrible and I don't feel like your team moves correctly with it. So we stick on balanced. Uh, width 37, depth 32. Now we could go down to below 30, which you'll see that it does adjust the text and it says runs in behind your team playing deep will open up more space for a long shot uh, or more possession for the opposition. We want to keep it around about 32, 33. 33. Um, our build-up play is long ball and forward runs. Now this is a change because these two complement each other really well, I feel. Long ball, I've said before, will move your team up the park really quickly. It's like everybody having get on behind. Um, and forward runs uh, gives you the ability to counter-attack. And, and that's what we want. We want a counter-attack information because yes, we're going to be defending and yes, we want our backs to the walls type formation, but we do want to take an opportunity if it presents itself. With 47, I typically, and this is just me, you can change this, I typically keep my width for defensive style and attacking style within 10. I can push it out to 15, but I just don't want my team being too accordion-like, constantly going out, in, out, in. Uh, player in the box, go down at 3. You can take us all the way down to 1 if you want, but like I say, I like to have the opportunity to take any chances that do pop up. Corners and free kicks are on one because we just do not want to give anybody the chance to counter-attack us and that's what this is about. The anti-counter-attack backs to the wall ultra defensive formation. Instructions are on our striker. You see I've moved to Mbappe up the top there because I want pace. Uh, stay central, get in behind but come back on defence. Zico is on come back on defence, stay on the edge of the box. Eusebio is on, come back on defence, stay on the edge of the box, drift wide. And so is Hansen, come back on defence, stay on the edge of the box, drift wide. Purely to give us that width. Kunde is on cut passing lanes, stay back, cover centre, as normal. Um, Patelis is on cut passing lanes, stay back, cover centre, as normal. Two centre backs, we don't touch them. We do not touch them. Right back, stay back and inverted. And... Lamptey, stay back and inverted. Now, inverted purely corresponds to the run type that they will do. So as they get forward, with Hansen drifting wide, Lamptey will try and move inside of the field. But it also has a slight inverse feature where if Lamptey goes forward, Walker will tuck in slightly closer to Van Dyke. So you'll end up with more of a tight back three with Lamptey going forward. We don't really want him going forward. This is purely in a counter-attacking situation. We will very, very rarely see any inverted type runs. We very rarely see any forward runs from these guys. Uh, goalkeeper comes for across his sweeper keeper. Yeah, I've gone back to it. Um, after last weekend, League, I decided, to, yeah, it's probably best. And I will probably stick it on the other two formations as well. Uh, other two tactics as well so that's it that's the ultra defensive it is very rarely used i'm going to struggle to show you gameplay but what i'm going to do is i'm going to get into a game and i will just give the other person the ball and they can attack and hopefully they don't quit after like five in-game minutes let's see that so here we are finally getting a, a game for the ultra defensive Formation, who's he got up front? It's going to be the important best. Rivaldo and headliners, Ronaldo. Hmm. Interesting. Could be fun. Let's see how well he attacks. Oh, we're starting with the ball, so let's just do that. What we'll do. So we're going to play the ball. 
around the back a little bit. Ping passes in. Just let our team get into its shape. Zico's still not in shape yet. Oh, he knew I was going back there. See, now he thinks I'm a defensive player. Right. So, our players have, have moved about. So, let's just go and give them the ball. Right. So, watch my team come back. They don't come back as fast as they used to. So, but look at where Hansen is. She's right there. He's got an overload, but Lamptey's too good. Give the ball back again. So, my team has gone forward now. Saliba's right there. Because we're so deep, there's nowhere to play in behind. Walker. Virgil. Saliba. Players showing for passes. Oh, that was a, a good interception. Look how deep the play is. Come on. Come on. Even Ronaldo's not hitting that. So it's not a true reflection of this defensive formation because of the fact that I'm not winning and he's not desperately trying to get a goal. But it does show you how many players you can have behind the ball just to stop him. He's got nowhere to go through me. Oh, that was good. Even there. He's got no space in behind. It means I have no one up front, if I'm honest, other than Mbappe. And I can clip the ball forward, do things like that if I want to try it. Um, it's a good way to get away from stuff. It, like anything with, with Ultimate Team, it comes down to the pace you have within your players. Uh, oh. 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 Oh, got lucky there. <laughs> um, wee bit of luck there. <laughs> Please don't take that as a reflection. That is more to do with EA's get down the line and cross it in meta that still exists to a degree. Dyke is just a unit. So he's trying to run down the lines now and that's that's perfectly legit. That's what I'd be doing if I was against this. What the heck was that shot? So we have scored. So it is definitely, definitely, definitely doable with this team. It's just not the best way to play. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. I shouldn't have done. <laughs> He's going to quit. If he doesn't quit, great. Um, I need to give him the ball. Let him just attack me for a bit. Right. Zico, we're going to go central. Okay. Oh! I gained it and everything. I like Mbappe, but not having all the shooting traits does make him a little bit limited, it feels right. Let's let him run down the line. Let's just stay away from him a little bit. We'll take Kundi just to make him force him in here, right? There you go. That's what he's reduced to. Long shots, power shots. That's what he wants to do. Because he doesn't know where to go, how to get through me. Oh dear. What? Well, should be a booking. Uh... Oh, I thought it was Walker at Sleeva. The walker with the keeping balance um, evil. If you've not done it and you, you can get a walker uh, as he plays a terrible pass there. I said before, definitely do him. That plus eight he gets in agility or something like that. Just, it's like huge. Ah. Oh, Kunde. That I love Kunde, but his defensive ability in that midfield position is just 
unmatched. But his passing and his, his shooting... Leave, I mean, look at that. He just takes the ball. Just takes it. There's not even a question. It's just gone. Oh, that'll be a... F that could be a red card. I've slid... Ages, ages before... He's tapped the ball away. Okay. I was lucky there. I don't know why that's not a red card. I must have had a player for their back. Let's have a look. Yeah. But, I mean, he's nowhere near the ball. I pressed that so, so much before it. Honestly. Did he green that? Jeez. That's why you always move your keeper out when they've got Ronaldo. How how do you even respond with Van Dijk? I hate playing against Van Dijk. Played the um, Freeze Cup yesterday. And oh my god. Every team. Van Dijk, Blanc. Van Dijk, Blanc. Who was the other one? Oh, Maldini. Van Dijk, Blanc, Maldini. Van Dijk, Blanc, Maldini. And there you go. Rage quit. Uh, and that was with a defensive formation. It's uh, it's just good fun. I don't go into it a lot. I wouldn't recommend you go into it. I wouldn't play games with it. But backs to the wall, it'll do your job. Please like, subscribe. Let's build a community. Let's build something here. I'm enjoying this. I hope you're enjoying this. See you on the attacking video.